Alright guys. See ya. We're going. Bye. We're going. Two ways to change your mind now. Dang. <laughs> yeah, can I? <laughs> <laughs> a little late. Yes. <laughs> so have you got a altimeter? Yes. Is what that is? Yeah, but sorry, I got some kind of Now what's out there, there in the altimeter? Okay. Um so hi, how are we gonna fly? Whatever we feel like. Whatever? Yeah. Two, three thousand feet. Will you go that high? Yeah. Um, what I did for the detonation is there's handles behind you. Okay. There's handles behind me that you can hold on to. Okay. Um, just don't hold on. You can hold on to this while we're flying, but when we come in to land, make sure your hands are inside. Okay. And I'll be landing that direction, so you want to face that way and just bend your knees. Okay. Because we might bounce across the ground. I don't sure. expect a high wind landing or anything. All right. And in either case, don't get out of the basket until I tell you to. <laughs> okay. If you get it, just feel any water, this is condensation. Sure. They got some in my eye, which is a wonderful feeling. Did you looking up? Yeah. So there's the football field. Yep. And looks like they're... I got a game, but they're not starting till 8 o'clock tonight, playing Hammond. Yeah. So Hammond is so late, they have to come in. So, so how high are we? 18? No. Uh, 380. Oh, okay. Yep. Can't we just stay this height though? <laughs> we can. <laughs> you don't want to go any higher. Yeah. It's kind of nice. You can see everything on the ground. But... Yeah, we can't see out very well. Yeah. Whoa. I don't have to go to 3,000. No, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that it's 8 o'clock before they have a game. Yeah, well, Hammond, you know, an hour behind. Yeah, I know. Um, well, then again, my school, I mean, I'm, I am I teach a Wheeler, so... Wheeler, yeah. We start 7.30, which would be 8.30 here. Okay. Or, no, we start at 7, which would be 8 here. 8 might be the latest you can start. All right. Are the lights on? Looks like it. Or is it the sun? I can never tell. I suppose. Um, well, I think for those, sometimes they turn them on now, then they don't have to worry about them later. Oh, uh, that's your water. Oh, thanks. Here. Okay. Um, as we go up higher, I kind of show you. Point Some out what, things? Yeah, point out what you can see out in the distance. Skittles loud and clear. Watching the football team on that. Mm -hmm. In the air. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy? You can they're all the way yeah. up there and you can hear them yeah. up here. So what time did it go? Ten after? Oh, uh I don't know. They normally sweep the season and then lose in the playoffs. Is that your dad or? No, it was Brian. Oh. Is that because they're a football team in again? Yeah, we left off three minutes ago, so. Just three? Yep, so seven, oh seven. All right, that's one thing I wanted to see, so. The football, new, much Me money too. they put into it. Yeah, I know. It looks nice. I, I, I like the bleachers and the right. thing. It looks good. I don't know if it is money well spent, but I know. Now they're putting brand new junior high in. I don't know when they're starting it, but they're talking about it. Think Are they going to tear Lincoln down? Part of it. The front huh. half of it. This is what they're currently talking about. They're going to build the new one back where the football field, field is. is. Okay. Yeah. Tear that out, build the new one, and then the front will be... Take down the gym and that part of it, and then the front part will be offices and stuff. Wow. 
That's what they were talking about. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. Do it or uh, not. Walgreens, Pond de Grosse. Yep. Kroger's. Yep. <laughs> the lovely, uh, lovely junkyard. Alright. I mean, usually when we're eating, we go, <laughs> look, the hot air balloon's up. Yeah. So there's people probably going, hey, look, the hot air balloon's yep. up. <laughs> right now. <laughs> We're saying check that out. Yep. And people like the ones we had at the park never never seen us before, so they're Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. I you would have thought those old kids if they lived here would see the glow, but yeah, I know. So you'll have 19 Sunday night. Yep. Now, now do they tether? We don't do tether rides. Um uh, it's too much of a headache to try to do tethered rides. But I mean all 19 go. They'll leave the ground, follow each other, or uh, not Sunday night. Normally Sunday we do about half, half oh. fly, half stay. Okay. okay. Some fly and then some come back. Okay. I I don't fight the traffic, so I stay. Yeah, I don't stay. bother. Yeah. I just stay on the ground. I'll set up. I'll set up half an hour early just to entertain the crowd. Okay. I can get my remote control balloon to work. I've got a little remote, remote control. Oh, balloon that, that's fun. So is there any wind up here at all? We're going seven miles an hour. What's the direction? North. Uh, pretty much almost due west. Okay. Almost. Like 262. Right. But it's a real clear day. Beautiful. But I'm going up. I wonder if we can see Chicago today. Go up higher and see if we can't find it. Okay. Um, but up this um, north of us, you can mm -hmm. make out Lake of the Woods. Yep. And bream into the right of it. The right of it. Yep. And then down is Napanee. Yep. Okay. Other than that, there's not much. Yeah, you can see. Wise, yeah. Um, straight up, you can see South Bend. So if you follow the high, the new yep. highway, just look yep. straight up from that. That's South Bend. And then to the right of it, you can make out Elkhart. Elkhart. So you can see all the tall buildings from here. And the new highway, and you can see where the old highway, <laughs> highway used to was. Go. Yeah. Probably right over the old highway last week. Ah. Landed. Actually, went right oh, dead over Triway uh, Movie Theater. Wind was out of the south. You're saying. <laughs> yep. Was it hot up here too? I'm sure. It was hotter than it is now. Oh yeah. No, it's not bad today. No, oh, it's beautiful. Way, got downtown. Yeah. And then Lake Culver. Kentucky, yep. yep. Culver. That's the easiest lake to see in the area. Yeah. The one way out there, that's Bass Lake. Is it? Yep. Now well, that's Knox, right? Or, that's Knox. Yeah. yeah. Well, Knox is just north it's of north it. North of it, yeah. but yeah. Yep. Culver's always fun to fly over when you get, get a chance to. I don't know all the time. But. Now, what's that building there? I'm not. <laughs> There? Yeah. That's Menominee on this That is? Yes, cool. Okay. Yeah, so here's the hospital. Yeah. Oh, I Our see. I was looking too Hospital, Washington, far. and then the sewage treatment plant, which you can see they're yeah. adding on to it. So then where's the racetrack? Right over there. There it is. That's where every Saturday night I'm stuck at. You are? Yeah. I, well, in five years I worked there. Uh-huh. At the end of this year, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll, maybe this is my last year, I can do ballooning and get away from it. And then the guy's like, well, you want to race my car? So for the last three weeks, I've been racing his car. Really? Yeah, a little 600. All right. And he wants me to do it again next year, so. I guess uh, I'm stuck at the racetrack every Saturday. <laughs> whether I want to be or not, huh? Yeah. Can't get away from it. No, I want to see if we can see Chicago. How are they? Hang on us? <laughs> yep. There's somewhere down there. Alright. It's too high for me to... Really I know. 
All right, if you look out here. Yeah? All right, see the railroad tracks going straight yeah. out? All the way on the horizon, you look to the left. Okay. See the tall buildings out there? Yeah, I don't know if I am or not. I think I am, but I don't know. Okay, well. That's Chicago? No, that's actually Michigan City. City, okay. But you can see where Lake Michigan is at. Yeah, yeah, I can tell that. Yeah, you can tell where Lake Michigan yeah, is at. My... Yep. up a little higher and hope it's not too hazy and we can make out Chicago. Oh, I think I see it. All right. This is going to be really hazy. Uh -huh. I can see it because I'm used to where I'm looking at. Okay. Look at uh, Coons Lake. Yep. Look straight up at the horizon where the ground and sky meet. Right there is where Chicago is. Really? Yeah, I can see, I can see the very faint outline of the skylark. I'm thinking I can too now. It's, it's Almost straight up from the lake, right? Yep, straight up from the straight lake. Straight out there. Yep. It's very, very, very faint because it's... Yeah, but I think I can... <laughs> yep. How high are we? Uh, 2300. Okay. We can make it out. So that's yeah, let's good. go up a little higher and see if we can... Spare. I don't know though with the sun. This is one of those days that you can... I don't know. I thought it was clear, but it's a little haze. Yep. I'm thinking. You can make it out. I can, I think. Yeah, I can, I can kind of see it. I can too. I really do now. And I'm, well, I'm used to... You're, you're looking at it, yeah. but I really do think I can see. I didn't really see the interchange. So where'd we take off at? Yeah, <laughs> park right over there. Yeah, right there. There's the tennis courts. Wow. Amazing. And then like an airplane, you have no motor. No, you're you know, right. It's so quiet. quiet. The only time you ever feel any wind is if you hit different layers of air. Sure. So right now you feel a little bit of a breeze. It's just us hitting a different layer of air. Huh. That's all that is. about 27 and it doesn't seem like going higher or something no I've seen that that's pretty easy yeah. you get that in this area like you get that haze and then you just can't you can somewhat make it out but okay I mean some days it is clear enough we can see it but those are a few and far, far between, between uh, We are moving a little, a little bit of ground speed. Yep, nine miles an hour and turn to the south. So do you have places out here you kind of... I've got places we landed before for, that so I'll try to aim for, but... But you never know where you're going to end up, to be honest. Is that me going off, or you? That'd be you. I won't drop the door off, though. You wouldn't be the first. Well, or my phone, I better keep it over here. Ten, five, and a ton. Oh man, I forgot. Tonight was the night. The basket is so small, she <laughs> said. <laughs> Now the balloon I'm planning on getting will actually have a door, so it just opens. And oh, you can get in? Yep. 
don't have to climb, which should make it a lot easier. Um, Hot air balloon is up with Greg in it. You didn't go? No, just a picture. The basket's so small. Oh, man. Oh, it's fine. Yes, it is. <laughs> the new balloon, I'll be able to take four people at once. Oh, that'd be so nice. It'll be, it'll be a bigger basket. How many can you take? Is it way greater? In this balloon, technically, I can take three people plus me. Okay. But we get to about 500 pounds, 550. That's about the max this can take. It depends on outdoor temperature. Sure. But most likely, it's about 550. Being a little cooler is nice. Yeah, it is. I've done those 90 degree flights where you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so is that the roundabout to nowhere or what? It's, it is. <laughs> Crazy. That's uh, actually where the new swimming pool is. The new community swimming pool. Oh, is it? Yeah, they're going to put it in at this end. Okay. We're in Pioneer. Yeah. Friendly to us. Love truck style. Pioneers friendly to you? Yeah, they have, Sponsor? They have their own hot air balloon. Oh, I see. So, technically, actually, one of the farmers in uh, Tipton, or not Tipton, um, Tipton, he's got his own balloon, and then it's Pioneer. And, wow. So, he brings up people from, from the plant up very far. Jail's in there. That's really good. What is? The jail. Oh, yeah. In that zone in your yeah. place. Gavin needs to play volleyball for fun, so we've been there. And yeah. Not a bad place. No, not at all. Just waiting for them to start on the rest of their stuff. Because they're going to put in a huge indoor football. Field. The zone is? Yeah. Who's the money behind that? Part of it's a community. Yeah, uh, part of it's a community. And a grant, and I forget the other guy's name that I feel. So the people that own the zone, they're putting in the, the pool. Okay. Which the high school is putting in a bunch of money in because they don't have a pool. And then. But they got the grant too, right? Didn't yeah. you get part of that? Yep. Okay. And then uh, they're putting in soccer fields. I think the soccer fields are on that side of it. Over there. I think, yeah. And then they have, they're going to put that indoor football field. Crazy, crazy. Yep. 20 minutes. How long? Almost 20 minutes. Really? That's 17? Is that the time or no? No, it's the temperature. Okay. 176 degrees at the top of the balloon. Right. That carry us up into the air. It's wild. <laughs> I, I mean, I am. I'd say I have a pilot's license, but I haven't flown in years and years. Yeah. But it's within, I don't know, 20 some hours of my instrument rating, and then my son was born. Uh, you know? Yep. And then that all went away. So everything changed. Yep. Yeah, that's why I'm getting as much flying in as I can right now. Air time. Yeah. And I can get that balloon, so... That bigger balloon. And I can take four people and I can have that paid off in about three years. And... Hmm. I have two balloons, and after three years, if I have a kid, then we'll see from there. See what happens. Yep. Can you, can you make any money, or you just break even? Or, um, I mean, can you make a little, I hope? You make a little, but not a lot. Alright, I mean, you can make, though. Yeah. I'm not like the guy, there's a guy in Indianapolis, all he's about is the money, and... He works half the year as a tax guy, and then the other half he flies. But he's got six balloons now, and he, wow. he's always flying people, even 
every once in a while weather that all the rest of us are going, what are you doing? And it wouldn't be up. And, yeah. Yeah, it's always a joke when we're at events and stuff and we're looking at the weather and all of us are on the ground going, nope, we're not going to go. But and Tony will goes. be up. He goes. Well, he doesn't go to the events because he's flying passengers because wow. he's like, events cost me money. But he's the guy that also does a ton of balloon tethers. Oh, just so up. ties into the ground, yeah. But those, he's charging $1,800 for two hours. Wow. And he did like 30 of them last year. Good grief. Needs to say when I get the 120 and the bigger balloon at the door, so it's easier for tethers, I kind of want to... Well, sure, then the price, you can get more and... Yeah, I want to cut into his market just a little bit. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice to do like five a year. Okay. Know? But does he find crew and everything to yep. do it? He's got crew and everything. He's got actual paid crew. Well, I mean, you'd have to with that yeah. many, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. And he's got pilots, and a lot of the pilots done an Indy fly for him. Because they're like, well... Balloon pilots? or yeah. Okay. So the balloon pilots can be like, well, we can either um, deal with all the bookings and all that stuff ourselves, or we can just float to Tony. I see. He takes care of all that and then they just fly it. So. For me, I'm not... This is a summer hobby that I really enjoy. Sure. So really, I just want the 120 to pay it off. And yeah. Then, and then after that, it's fine by me. Of course, upgrade my garage. Oh, there's always something. Yeah. I mean, now does the balloon have to be certified? Do you have to go? Every year. You have to be checked. It has to be checked every year. This was actually checked uh, three years. I mean, we, um, as part of the Men's Own Flying Club, yeah. really the cheapest thing you do is buy an airplane. Yeah. Oh, By the yeah. time you run instruments and, oh my goodness, we changed our own oil and stuff, but yeah. still. Wow, this thing, about $3,000 of the instruments alone. I was going to say. Sure. I mean, this is, they charge 1500 bucks just for this thing. And the altimeter. And then, and then they got a little sensor up at the top of the balloon that's reading out the the temperature, sure. and they want 400 bucks for that, which to me is just... Now, does that have to be checked? We just replace batteries and make sure it works. Okay. That's all it do. doesn't have to be Not certified. Or, okay. Really. And then I bought the iPad because some of the competition guys were showing me it, and I have to have it. <laughs> yeah, I have to have it. It makes, it makes my life so much easier. Oh, I'm sure. Because I got live Google Maps. Sure. So I'm flying along a treetop. I don't know what's ahead of me. I just pull this open and go, hey, look, there's a yard right there I can land in. Keep zooming and yeah. there it is. Yeah, it's made my life so much easier flying away. Yeah, I mean, we own some bare land in Florida. We just pull it up and look at it. Yeah. Will we do something with it someday? Maybe. But... Yeah. Look at all the deer in this year. Yes, isn't that amazing? I didn't see them there right now. Oh, that's a lot. I wasn't looking down. But now I am. I was kind of in that field and I saw three go into there. At least 13 I saw. And then in the far field, yeah. there's some more there. Yeah. Too. What woods they live in? That one doesn't look big enough, does it? No, it doesn't. Them, but... Now, we'll come out this time of the year or in June, mm -hmm. and you'll fly, and you'll scare up 30, 40 of them all together. And you'll be like, the oh. noise? Yeah. They don't like that. And then you'll be like, how is there that many deer? There's our tape here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red car. Yep. They're turning. Really gonna follow us. Yep. See the, the glimpse going from the iPad to them tells them kind okay, of what my direction is going. It tells them, hey, we're going this direction. So. But now we're kind of going due west again, aren't we? Or? Yep. Yeah. Since 
we have we always been or it's kind of like we were going no we've been changing direction i was gonna say so you can see here we started out and then we started going south okay and now, now we're back going to do, west yeah well, we've come down so oh hi oh i see we're down a thousand cool. and i'm gonna keep on skipping us down until we get to surface contour fly a little bit and then find a landing spot all right They're ahead of us now. Yep. Yeah, that's my typical flight. Start off, go way up high, look around, come down, contour fly. And then... And then land. Yeah. Good. You can see where the irrigation is cut through the field. Yeah, exactly. So he knows what you're going to do. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. <laughs> He's pulling off. Waiting on us. Yep. How long have we been on? Uh, 26 minutes. All right. About a half hour. Yep. Doesn't seem possible. No. Sometimes I'll be flying along and I'll look at my watch and be like, hey, oh. we're at 45 minutes. I got to get down, down, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, geez. yeah. Does anybody ever get after you when you land? <laughs> um, I've had it twice. Yeah? Yeah. They didn't like it, huh? No. Well, actually, the one guy didn't mind that the balloon landed in this hay field. It was, the crew went to, it was like the hay field like yeah. around here and there's a house right there. Well, the crew went to that house thinking they're the owners. And they asked them, hey, can we drive along the edge of the hay field, go back there and grab the balloon and pick the pack up? And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. So they, it wasn't so they their got, land. It wasn't their land. They went right to the very edge. They started driving on it. Farmer pulls up and starts screaming and blocks in the truck and says, you owe me all this money for driving on my land. And Real. Yeah. Did he ever settle down? <laughs> he still wanted 300 bucks. And I'm like, we did $40 worth of damage. Exactly. Not even that, it was actually less than that, but... We went in the middle just to calm him down. Well, you did something for him. Yeah, we did. Just to kind of make him happy. Right. So, the wind's not going to take us to Pretty Lake. No, we're not going to make it. over but the opposite side has no landing spot so that's not very fun oh when you get across there <laughs> yeah you get on the other side then you go uh oh, oh where we're to land for a while you see all the trees yeah exactly well it looks open from here but yeah <laughs> yeah but you get over yeah. here there's nowhere to land that's why i'm okay staying where we're at because now we're going towards Ancilla and donaldson there's you know, college and, yeah yeah which See the tower out in the distance? Yeah. Um, that's Insula. Okay. That's right by Insula. There's a water tower that is Insula. So oh, you see I the water see. tower, that's it. That's the college or yeah. the town or whatever. Oh, there's a water tower. It's over here. Oh, that's, yeah. That's not Insula. Insula's over here. Oh, I see now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that water tower is exactly where the soccer okay. field is. That's the soccer field. Okay. I've landed there twice. On the soccer field? Yeah. Right on it. Nice. Both of them morning flights. Huh. In the normal evening flights, we don't quite get out there. We might today. Might make it far enough. Hey, that was the flight. <laughs> Another guy here, I guess. Let's get over here. You know, 
I forgot my bean bag to crack it. <laughs> Blueberry Festival is weak. Fly competition. Oh yeah? Yeah. I did not. Who did we pick up? Oh nice. Tell Mr. Limpy not to hurt himself anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, hardy her her. So for Blueberry, we do a competition where Either we, we pre-designate where our X is going to be based off the winds. Okay. Or we have a balloon take off, and then we all chase after him. Like my dad, he's, he'll be the hare. So he'll take off, we all inflate. We, we can't inflate until he takes off because it gives us time. Then we inflate, we stand up, and we go chase after him. We have bean bags. And wherever he lands, he puts out an X, and whoever can steer and throw to the closest to the center of the X wins. Ah. So we do that blueberry, we do a bunch of other festivals, and I forgot my bean bags in the truck to practice. Because <laughs> I've got two to I've got the X. Yeah, I've got two practice bean bags. And I'll come in and I'll tell the, the crew, hey, be at this intersection, I'll come over them and I'll drop the bean bag. Okay. Yes. Kid, kid that works for me. Uh, got a shadow back behind us. Right? Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Actually, when we come down a little bit more, you'll get a better shadow. We've slowed down considerably. I gotta say, down here, he said there's almost no wind on the ground. Yeah. Only 140 feet. Give or take. I zero it out for where we launched from. So. Oh, okay. So we could be mid about 30 feet plus or minus either way. Mm -hmm. That's what I normally figure it as. At this point, it's just using my eyes. It's a lot easier. Beans, huh? Yep. You would think we're lowering the trees, but we're not. Uh, that's the idea. Yeah. Couldn't ask for better, better flying oh, weather. Why, I guess. There's no wind at all. Guess I better take a shadow picture, huh? <laughs> that... Probably some people just watching. Yep. Yeah, a lot of people, they'll see us and come chase and stop and take pictures. And 
We charge for that, say hey, no free pictures. <laughs> It's a little hard, say. little hard to yeah. regulate. <laughs> hey, I gotta pay for this thing. <laughs> oh. Make a lot of money at Blueberry, then. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It costs money, but you'd do it for nothing, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah. you enjoy it, but I know you got no. No, if I if I didn't have to worry about the expenses, I get myself a racer and do competitive flying and do events. And sure. Now, who's the other guy? Uh, it's another one of our crew guys. Okay. Hurt himself, so he couldn't, he said he wouldn't be able to come out and help, but his young son, Grayson, loves a balloon. So oh, just to see it. I'm sure Grayson saw it and decided, we gotta go chase. Yeah, we've turned hard north now. Yeah, I gotta say, total opposite direction once we got on the ground or close. Yep. This is crazy. <laughs> and from the blast to the top to it actually responding three to four seconds. Three to four before it lifts. Before it lifts, yeah. Okay. So you have to stay, you have to stay ahead of it. Okay, or you'll get you sink get, before you, yeah. you start sinking, and then you're like, uh-oh. I boo-booed. <laughs> yep. Or then you overcompensate, and then you go shooting back up. I see. Which is something I'm going to have to work with the new balloon. Is learning that, because this guy told me to add about two seconds on top of that. Really? So. When it was bigger than yeah. yeah. I'm just doing this for fun. Yeah. The trees. Yeah. That's what I like to enjoy. I mean, this is. I mean, it was fun being up in the air. Look at it. Really, yeah. this is about as much fun oh, yeah. as. Just skimming the trees. Yeah. And the you can't do this in an uh, airplane. airplane. No way. I'm be right over the railroad tracks here in a second. Nice. Your dad's probably going, what's he doing? Going that way. <laughs> hey, we don't have a choice. <laughs> there you sit. Yeah. Did you ever bring your rifle with you? <laughs> no. Uh, it's not legal in Indiana. It is in Texas, though. Is it to shoot from a balloon? For a uh, wild boar, yeah. Wild boar. Yep. Shoot wild boar from a hot air balloon in Texas. If you so shoot. I think that'd be a really hard shot. Though. The boar's moving, you're moving. I know. You have to compensate. Yep. I guess guys shooting helicopters. Up here, so. I can't believe how that echoes down that. I know. I can hear it. Too. <laughs> people. If people didn't know, no wonder it rouse the deer up, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and people would be like, what the heck's that? Yeah, what is that? You sit on your backyard. Sent me helmet. What is that? <laughs> 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 you can't do this anymore. No way. Mm -hmm. Next time. Just go right by. by. Just go right by it. Just for fun. That's crazy. <laughs> you get a leaf or no? Nah, I just it. I had it. I touched it, but I couldn't close my hand back. I gotta be honest, this was probably the best part of the flight. I mean, yeah, it was good. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I got you. <laughs> okay, to me, yeah. this is the most fun. All you right, know, good. It was to me, too. Just to me. I like it more when your retreat's out going eight, nine miles an hour and you're yeah. diving into places. <laughs> 
landing or just for fun. To me, that's more fun because this is, you know, you're kind of just barely moving. Yeah. When you're right here going seven, eight miles an hour and you're going, hmm, am I going to stop straight up? Or yeah, or where? You must have an idea where you're going to you're turning. <laughs> I can't believe how that echoes. It's so through the trees <laughs> once we got it. That's just a bird, maybe. They won't come here. No. Look at bugs up here, though. Oh, wow. I've been at three, four hundred feet with butterflies flying around us before. Okay. I'm like 400 feet and there's a butterfly. I'm like, what are you doing up here? There's some big old trees in here. Yeah. This is a 135. Wow, yeah. Some of them have been here for a very long time, I'm sure. Minutes. Where do you get coming up? I'm going to have to land. Yeah, we start looking. The house is so nice. Yeah, then I have hooks at the end of these trees. This place has a nice. Open field of some kind, huh? No, there's cows here. See, oh. There's cows. We'll go up to keep them kind of happy. Well, that's Pioneer back there, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got all types of places up here. If we stay right here for another 20 minutes, we'll be in the campground. <laughs> I've landed in there before. Huh. Everybody comes out. They come a running, I oh, suppose. Oh, yes. The thought, I don't know if I'm going to hit the open spot, but there's only like two open spots for the balloon. How much do you need? Uh. About an acre and a half. Half? Okay. Yeah, let's see what's up here. The Google Earth shows can be two years old. Looks like it was just past it. I feel like you can just brush it through. Yeah, there's rub it. And Nice junky water, right? Yep. Do you start cutting them? I sure don't see them, but. Yeah. That barn is cold. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> Yep. Here they came. <laughs> they must hear the balloon too. They're they nervous. do. And with that, we're going to go up. Okay. You can try to stay at five, 500 feet and help it over. That gives them a little cushion. Yeah, so then the farmers don't complain too right. bad. They'll still complain, but not too badly. <laughs> It's funny how there's 
A little wind aloft and the ground yep. is calm. Welcome to... Ballooning, West. huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ballooning 101. Oh, it's worse in the morning. Huh. Now they're coming back out. We'll have mornings where we take off. Uh huh. On the ground, it is dead calm. You get to a little bit above treetop, maybe 130, 140 feet. And you're doing 10 to 12 miles an hour. Just boom. Just boom. And then and then that lasts till about 300 feet. When you get above 300 feet, it's dead calm again. So you go above that, there's above a layer. Mm -hmm. Just that one little jet right there. Huh. Yeah, dude, look at that feed that back there. I could still dive in there, but I really don't want to. It's not a 40, 45 minutes. Or 45? Wow. I don't need to dive into that. Here we go for a little bit How much can you control it? Any or? The balloon or not? Direction? Yeah. Not Only right. what the wind does. Just yeah. I mean, I can go different altitudes and change it. Sure, so. but. Because originally I was looking over there and I'm like, well, the cows, I know we're going to go up. So on the iPad, I was looking up here somewhere. Hmm. There's a few spots up here. Across the highway or this side? On this side. Oh, okay. Like, on the other side of these trees, there's some houses right now. Hmm. There's also this house over here on the other side of the pond. I wonder if we have several any. chasing now we're looking yep how long can you stay up how much fuel you got uh, about two and a half three hours uh, two yeah. Of, yeah Not aim for that house though. It'd be nice to hit. In that yard, you mean? Or? Yeah, this okay. huge yard. Skittles to crew. Maybe I am. Hey, coming up to Rose Road. And then uh, there might be a spot here on Rose Road. There's a big house. If I stay right here, I should be able to hit that spot. I do have another. Yeah, turn left here, come down to the next road. You might have just uh, You know what I could have done. Now that I realize it. I could have parked it back here. Alright? Right back here. Oh yeah. Because they could have came up to the house and said, hey the balloon's in the back and then yeah, in the back. Well, they got a nice little thing to the pond here. Access, yeah. Turn hard north and then come down, so I might not hit that this spot right, right. here. Right. It's gonna push you farther. Yeah, it's gonna push me farther north, which would be that place, but that place has horses. Right there in the corner. I'm gonna see what the wind does. Stay right there for a second. 
Um, if it pushes me farther north, I'm going to miss this house, and I'll be by where you're at. I didn't either, really. We were at the same altitude, we were going that way? Yep, and now we're going that way. Northwest. So that's the problem about ballooning is you get stuff like this, but then you're like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Breathe. What is it? Where? Who? Yeah. How? Oh, I can get back. If I can get back west. Oh, come on, Mother Nature. Take us back west. Okay, Mother Nature has different plans, that's that. But I will say that my practice back is in the Turn on us now. Up here. The problem is, I gotta dive in from this. Yeah. <laughs> According to this GPS, still wants to take us across the highway. Hmm. Not where I want to go. Oh, we're going to have a much longer flight. Yeah, that's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> I see the place with the horseshoe. Yeah. Uh, pond. Yeah. Yeah, they got two great areas there to lay down. In. Even if we landed by the pond, we could walk it up to the thing. But. trying to keep us on this side of the highway, but I don't think that's going to happen now. Yeah, there's a there's jelly stuff. Yeah, right there. All them campers. campers. Yep. They would have loved it if we were able to. Did you take a picture of it? Yep. Maybe I got it. <laughs> Here, don't want to take us there. Let's see if we went down and down. We'll take us. That's the other thing with learning. You just gotta experiment sometimes when it's really cool. Sure. Sun 
Windstar com comes down, the wind starts changing. The I'm sure as the ground cools it. Oh, yeah. I had it earlier this year, went for an hour and a half. Couldn't get anywhere to land at all. And finally, I drifted really close to John Deere, the dealer on the other side of the highway. Yeah. We couldn't get to John Deere. The crew had to come out in the middle of the cornfield, grab me, and pull me over there. Really? Because I was going backwards. Exactly, why not? <laughs> no way to get to us though. We gotta come from the highway. Way, that wouldn't be too cool. No. That would be an absolute last ditch. Like, we have to. We're out of daylight, we're out of fuel. Ditch and it. you would. Yeah. Not something that I'm. I don't know, plus, it looks pretty soft in there. Maybe. Kind of, kind of does. But it kind of looks soft. Yeah. Yeah. job easier and harder at the same time because you notice the line keeps bouncing yeah so i'm like which way am i actually going to go no. which one can i try to hit exactly so right now it's a crapshoot like one of those houses up there we're going to cross our fingers and hope we get there <laughs> which i'm going to I better take a picture of 30. Not to pull somebody over back behind us. Wife and sister in law said they started to follow us. They quit at the shell station there that had tainted gas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I yep. Well, you could tell them Tamarack and Seventh Row. Right. They said they gave up my life. 
<laughs> That's all right. Yeah. We'll go back on there. Gonna be a little extended flight. I like that. Good for me, I guess. Yeah, it is. You may charge me extra when we get back. <laughs> no. <laughs> One way or the other. Yep. Oh, we only got 15 minutes of daylight left, so we right. better be shutting down. These beans don't look very good anyway. No, they don't. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is the best. Just flying. <laughs> Just right here at the surface. 30, 40, 50. What are we? 50 feet? Yep. I was going to say, this is perfect. So what is there, houses across the with trees there? Oh yeah. yeah okay. Other side of this little tree path, we got that house, we got this hay field. Try to hit one of those too. Hopefully I don't have to send a crew in the beans to drag us. I mean there's two places there too. About 20 minutes left of daylight. It, Smart thing to have a crew walk out and grab them. <laughs> as long as they have a uh, pants on, they'll be alright. Exactly. And most of the time, farmers, yeah, they kind of walk in the beans, but they're okay. And if I talk to them, I'll find out who owned it. 99% of the time, they're okay with it. Right. Hey guys, they're on uh, Tamarack, south of 7th Road. There's two houses. Um, one house looks to have a huge hay field in front of it. Um, can you confirm that for me? <laughs> Believe it or not, this basket's older than I am. I'm uh, sure. I'm oh, sure. 30 years old. Yep. Third balloon, it's under. I'm going to keep keep this balloon, but I probably won't see the time by today more than When you get the new one. Times. Yeah. Because the new one will be bigger, I can take more people. Bring it out for sentimental value, right? Whoops. Oh, well that makes things lovely then. Thank you. So this road has no power line. None. None. So even if we miss the house, we can land on the road. Road. As long as we don't get in between trees. All right. But, uh... Yeah, four people at once, the door would be nice. Yeah. Especially when I get weather, like, 
June, July, where there's like two or three times the entire month it's good. Right. Then I can call them and say, hey, I'm putting you with this couple. We're going to go. It's the only chance we've got. Right. Because I have people that booked every can. single day. We double it up. Yep. And take care of people. Then I don't have to worry about no, exactly. rescheduling. Right. Yeah. Yeah, if I if I had it this year, I would have been I would have been out of passengers already, probably. You know. Which would have been okay for me. Used them up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I would have flown everybody, and it would have been fine. Sure. Okay, you're saying the power lines are to the north, right? variable so it keeps shifting on me and if I can get to the road if you can in the power lines there then that'd be wonderful. So the balloon can take an asphalt asphalt rub the balloon I mean or not the not ideal but it's not ideal but we can do it. I think. Okay so there is the south and not the north so that's Power lines are here, but not there. Yeah. See, that might be okay. Maybe. Depending on how far I would shoot. I still want to shoot the gravel. So they say it's a gravel road. Oh. I don't want to lay down in the gravel road. But if I have to, I'll take it. All right, but... Alright, I mean, it looks like the wind's shifting and taking me more north, but it, the GPS can't make up my, its mind on the yellow line exactly where I'm going. Trying to stay low and get to the left, but that's going away because it's variable. Yeah, the iPad has been going right to the intersection. But visually, it looks like I'm going right at that red barn. Now we're shifting back west. Like there's that. That's the power lines there. Yeah. To the just north. Saying, just saying, going that way, there's none. Once you get to the intersection to the north, there's nothing. Oh, I see. Open. Yep. I'd prefer not to do that, but in this case, we're going to have to do it.
Yeah, you know, when I have a new balloon, I'll be uber protective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least until it has two, three hundred hours on it. Sure, sure. I mean, like this balloon's got two seven, two hundred seventy-five hours on it now. Oh. It'll last for four to five hundred. Okay. And if I only fly it five or six times a year, longer nap possibly. Yep. Visually, that just looks weird. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Like it looks, it doesn't look like the house is on a corner. Corner, there. not at all. <laughs> yeah. But the truck's going up to it there. Yep. So. Somebody's been down through them. Yep, they have. <laughs> Should have just parked it right there and they could have walked to the house. Yeah. yeah. So you're thinking go over in the bean field? Yeah, and then pull it over to the road. About my best option right now. The wind is not helping us at all. And even then, this place doesn't have much of a net yard for me to lay down in. Car lines on that side anyway, so there's be no room for me to lay down. I was going to say, that way. It would be very, very tight, car lines there. we got a small little tree. Yeah, unless it's more open when we get there, but it sure doesn't look like it. Nope. And there they open. Nope. Okay. I think I'll need it. Uh. Wait to say it, guys, we're going to do some bean walking here. I'm out of daylight, so I don't have much option. Can you lay it in that track right there? That's where he's ran the track. You know what? I didn't see that until just now. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm so focused on that. I was too. too. I just looked down. There's that track. Oh, right we could have put it down right in the middle of that. that and, and, yeah. You know, we just saw a track right in the middle of the moon. We didn't see it. Like, we two houses. We could have laid in. I sat down and walked it to that house for the big yard. Too late. Just enough room I might have been able to. But even then in the yard there's not enough room to lay no, down. To lay the, to lay the balloon over, but I 
said I saw that earlier. We I would could have that trap. I did just. I just happened to look down, seeing it. So, phooey. Well, you can't even see it from here. No. Like, it looks like just the normal. Yeah. Thing. A mark in there. <laughs> He's up boy. Glasses. A crew right there to grab it. There we go. All right. Well, I don't get much better than that. No. Well, move me to that side. And then yeah. we'll just pull the truck forward and just lay down. What well, we didn't realize is there was a strip mode back there too. Yeah, now, right. now I see it. It's it's right between the two houses, and they yeah. run must run ATVs or something between them. They could have put it right there and walked to that house. Mm. <laughs> could have been perfect. Yeah. But this way you don't have to walk. Yeah. You're literally right here. Only over there. And we don't have to ask for permission. Yeah, we don't have to ask for permission or not. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. We didn't touch any beans. No. At least until we lay it over. Mm -hmm. so that's not even a bend the bean stock over. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna get a. Dad, you rotate that way. Hey Lampy, would you mind uh, moving the truck for us? <laughs> <laughs> Move the truck forward. Would you mind? Either that or have Grace and do it. Yeah, have Grace and do it. Have Grace and do it. <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Me? Yeah, since you fell. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Nice. Little roll burn. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, an hour and 19 minutes ago. Wow, wow, what a deal. You got extra. Hey. And we went... And I got the land on the road, not the yeah. deal. So. Yep. We went 7.19 miles. Oh, we didn't have to go pick them on the beach. Yeah. yeah. That's because I... You can thank me for hooking the drop line up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was hoping you would do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, if you want to get out, when you get out, yeah, just turn around, put your weight back on like these guys are. All right. Where they're... do you think it'll go up? Or... Yeah, my my few pounds out of there. <laughs> so how was it? <laughs> oh, great. Anything like you thought? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. I gotta be honest, 
I like that contour about as much mm. as being in the air, just yeah, like yeah. skimming the trees yeah. and all that. So, what I love is when I coast over a woods, I hit the burner and watch the deer run out. I know we've seen a bunch, yeah. Yeah, we did. There are flights I see none, and flights when I see 40 plus. Wow, all right, let's uh. Pack her on up. Brian, you want to grab the... Yep. Let me turn this all on. Uh, we'll come over here to the side. Now? Yep. You going to need help, Brian? Probably. Uh, I can always use help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go. It's coming down on me. Go. Start pulling. Do I need to make you go to the weight room? 